Hey guys, welcome back to Weld.com. So a couple weeks ago, I was uh, working on a side job, government gig, and uh, I had to weld some tube to a little base plate and had quite a few of them to do. And I was back there kind of freehanding it and rotating and freehand and rotating. And I had my nighttime instructor, Mr. Juan Ayala, come up and he said, hey man, let me show you this cool little trick. And I'd been doing, I've been welding for quite some time now and I'd never seen this trick. And I was like, man, that's so simple yet very effective. And that could save you a lot of time, especially if you've got like a little shop set up at the house and you're doing like little bollards or you're capping tubes or, you know, whatever the case may be, you got to put some base plates on something, you know, for small, small work. And you can use this in the, the TIG welding process, MIG, flux core, stick, you know, whatever the case may be. But what it does is allow you to rotate the piece of material. So for, for those of us that can't go out and afford to buy a rotator, uh, this is a very simple little trick. So you just sharpen a bolt. You don't even have to run it through your table. You can mount it to another plate or just a spike or a piece of pencil rod with a sharp end. You just need like a little rotating point. And then on the bottom of the base plate, you just put your little, that's still hot, center punch mark. Uh, and then just rotate it right on top of that piece. So you're able to rotate and weld at the same time. Now what I did is I just took a, a chip and hammer, stuck it in this sort of flat table, and I was able, able to hold my TIG torch very steady and just rotate the piece of material with the other hand. Now, like I said, you could do this with a MIG gun, so you could set up your MIG gun uh, or stick welding, whatever the case may be. It's just a very simple, quick tool hack that you can use to increase production. So if I had like 50 or 60 of these little guys to do, I could tack them all up and then just keep putting them on the table. You don't have to rotate. There's only one stop and start point. Um, and I mean, it's pretty simple and effective. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I got Juan's permission to, uh, I was like, hey, you don't, mind, you don't mind if I share this on the channel? I think it could benefit a lot of people out there, especially if you're at home picking up side work and stuff like that. So hopefully it helps. We appreciate you guys watching. Questions, comments, concerns down in the comment section. If you guys have a video suggestion or idea or something you'd like to see, go ahead, drop that down there as well. We're pretty active in the comment section. And until next time, make every well better than your last.